All right, thanks, Brian. Well, it's Fair Housing Month, so what does that mean for you? Joining us live, the Assistant Secretary for Housing and Equal Opportunity for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, Gustavo Velazquez. That's a mouthful of a title, by the way. I hope that you summarize it on your business cards. Thanks so much for coming uh, all the way from D.C. Uh, into the Dayton area. Now, you recently spoke earlier uh, at Sinclair Community College about this, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, uh, you know, what you, what you talked about specifically, which was uh, fostering inclusive communities and strengthening the housing market. Uh, first of all, what was that about and, and how are we working to build uh, better markets here in the area? Thank you, John. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, April is Fair Housing Month. Uh, we commemorate a Fair Housing Month since 1968 when President Johnson signed the Fair Housing Act into law. And uh, the Fair Housing Act is all about protecting people from discrimination in housing. The, in the rental, in the sale, in the financing of housing. And uh, these discrimi uh, discriminatory behaviors could happen because of race or religion or disability or because families have children. Mm -hmm. So we take advantage of Fair Housing Month as an opportunity to get out, get out of DC into the communities across the country to raise awareness about the importance of people to be vigilant that discrimination it still persists in some parts of our country, and we must eradicate it. It's unfortunate that it does, but it indeed does, and, and it's uh, such a pleasure that you are addressing it. You are here in Dayton uh, helping us out. Now, earlier you were at Sinclair Community College uh, uh, amongst a lot of folks, a lot of local realtors. What did you hear when, when you got to interact with these local folks here in Dayton? The truth of the matter is that when it comes to housing discrimination, everybody agrees we need to stop it. Uh, realtors, uh, fair housing advocates, local governments. So yeah. the opportunity here in Dayton is that we have a strong partnership with the Realtors community. We have a strong partnership with the city of Dayton through the Dayton Human Relations Council. We partner with many nonprofit organizations such as the Miami Valley Fair Housing Center. And we're all together in this. So it's really a neat opportunity to partner, to collaborate with a wide range of industry groups and advocates in Fair Housing. Exactly. I think it's important to note that there is an advocacy program for these folks should they need it. You know, taking this to a, a national level, what kind of problems are you seeing nationwide and then what are we doing to fix it? Yes, uh, that's a great question. Well, we, uh, we need to level the playing field for all Americans. That's really the premise of the Fair Housing Act. And, and what we know, Sean, is that today the forms of discrimination in housing are not like 40 years ago, when you had the kind of outright in-your-face discrimination. We have more subtle forms of discrimination. So what the federal government is doing through the U.S. Department of uh, Housing and Urban Development yeah. is to ensure that we support local communities with funding, with awareness, with support, so that they tackle these forms of subtle, discrimina this subtle discrimination uh, right away. So we have a network of providers, fair housing providers across the country that are supported by our efforts. It's all about a network. I get that, definitely. You know, we've seen a number of banks, uh, you know, make settlements uh, due to foreclosure discrimination. Is that the way we solve this? Is, is this working? I mean, there are many ways to solve this. There are many ways to stop discrimination. But certainly when we see that there is behavior uh, on part by lenders or people who are denying mortgages because people's races or religions or national origins, we have to address this. And certainly some of these settlements have caused that we level the playing field, that we continue to advance what is equal justice and equal opportunity for all in our country. Well, it's such a pleasure to have you on here and to have your expertise and, of course, for you to speak uh, here in the Miami Valley, uh, Gustavo Velasquez, all the way from D.C. And let me just say I hope you have a safe flight and that this weather will stay away from it. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thanks, Sean.